Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, we successfully update all that our multiple images and now you are able to edit that image. You can also delete that image, right? Now I want to do unto visible all that our images in our font in. That means here I want to visible. First of all, we have to find out our specific that file location. If you want to find out it, that is in our wish place. And now we have to go to our font in. That means in our font in, that is our assets. So sorry, that is actually our public. I want to go to our resources view, and then that is our font in, right? Mm, that is our font in. So you do the font in. There is a home all. If you go to our home about, you can see that is actually the all that images, right? I have already take it. Right now, that is all that are multiple images. First of all, we have to do. We have to get all the data. We have to get the data from our multi image. Uh, for them that will be just like that same you can see there is a multi images how to get all the data better I copy it now in our home about into this home about I want to do and to paste it I want to get all the data or model name so if you want to access that model we have to add that appropriate path so that is in our app and then the models and our models name as a multi image I want to do and to get all the data and here I take it with this image okay that is another variable as all multi image so right now I want to do that will be on the for each loop because that is a multiple data. So that is one of the image. I want to take one actually. I rest of this I want to delect. Okay. I want to remove everything. That is images, images I simply deleted. Only one will be enough. And that is our image. So for this image, that is our LI. LI is started and LI is ended. Right? Now that is our LI area. Here better I want to do, I want to add that for each loop. So that will be as a at the rate for each, right? That is at the rate for each. And then I want to finish it. So that will be as a and, okay? That will be as at the rate and for each. Now we have to do, we have to load it. So I have already take all the data, take the things with this variable into the for each loop. That is a process is same. That is a all multi image. I make it as a as item, okay? item whatever the name actually you choose i name it as item now with this item i want to do and display our image so now if you want to access that image that will be the same process as the asset okay that is our asset and into this asset area with our item i want to do and to access our field name our image field if you go to a database our image field name as a multi image right i have already inserted some of the data that is a multi image i want to do and to access our multi image there's a multi underscore image so that will be as a multi image great so friend that's all you have to do now that should be display if you now click as a save all and now if you go our font in refresh it yes you can see all that our images is now successfully loaded right all that our images is now successfully loaded if you want to change anything like i want to change that image now click as edit i want to change it click as a choose new file and from to the um, exercise file i want to do and to take it from our exercise file like that is our appropriate one of the image i select that image upload that is update our multi image is now successfully updated and now if you go now that should be changed now refresh it yeah you can see it's now successfully updated right it's now successfully updated I hope friend it's very much clear to you how to deal with it so our now multi images part is totally dynamic and also our about page is totally dynamic right great so in our next video i want to do i hope if you understand our that main core part the rest of this will be very easy so in our next video i want to update our portfolio part okay portfolio here i want to make it as a dynamic how can do this work in our next video i will show you that things with the live example so thanks for watching, I will see you in the next video.